Ladies and gentlemen, it's top of the hour and of course my good name is Sky Kakwe straight out of Kenya Online Media. Now join me as we look at what went down today and what are the highlights of the day. Good morning passengers. Thank you for choosing Skyward Express. We are flying today from JKIA to Mombasa. Now, Skyward Express has launched a hub at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, whereby they're providing flights from Nairobi to Mombasa that are taking only 50 minutes. Ha ha ha! Mombasa to now, to now. In other news, Kenyan Prince, that is the Kenya's youngest sponsor, has revealed shocking details of himself saying that nothing puts him down, not even leaked nudes. You understand the slogan from Chira Kamawe Sipa so in the stress? Ah, me, you, you can't scare me of leaking out my nudes. You start telling me tomorrow, is either I send you money or you leak my nudes. Make me trend, bro. So what I mean, my trend. So who day mal kwant come to me a pesa so that she doesn't um, leak you? A simple black male at me to me a pesa and has leak nudes. Ulituma? Be me. Without me, you can't get money from me if I don't want. In other news, a viral video of Kabi where Jesus has taken rounds on social media with him claiming that he is not ready to introduce his daughter to the online media space, saying that he is afraid of the toxicity being passed uh, down to his children. I've gone through so many scrutinies. <laughs> like people just come out and tell lies about us. <laughs> These are things that you don't want to believe. Honestly, like I don't feel like I'm ready to reveal my daughter to such a world. Now in other news, DJ Kroba has taken to social media to claim DJ John Falme's innocence following the, uh, the death of one DCI officer, Felix Kitosi. Now ride along with me as we dig deeper to this news and what the highlights of today are about. Skyward Express has opened a new hub at the JKIA, that is the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, in a quest to expand its services in the country. <laughs> now, signing deals and partnership with the one and only comedian Eric Omondi and actress Jackie Matubia, the airline which flies mainly from Wilson Airport in Nairobi, said that its JKIA base, which is operational effective yesterday, will allow it to fly passengers to Mombasa and back. Now, this new hub will also offer an opportunity for international passengers landing at JKIA to connect to the coastal city via the, EL, uh, the airline. Now, uh, the general manager, that is Diana Nyambura, in an interview with Business Daily, was able to say that they have started operating the flights from uh, to Mombasa from Terminal 2 at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, and that that strate uh, strategic decision aligns with their commitment to providing enhanced connectivity to international travelers, and it also elevates their pro uh, product offering that, uh, that is a dedicated clientele now the airline has been flying passengers to mombasa from its wilson airport base in nairobi on a daily basis and the general manager said that the airline will carry passengers to mombasa using a Fokker 100 jet aircraft now this flight will carry up to 100 passengers and it will uh it will take only 50 minutes from jkia to mombasa at the Wilson uh, Airport, the airline ferries passengers to Mombasa using a Dash 7 Q300 aircraft that has a capacity of 50 passengers. Now, Skyward uh, Express flies out also out of Wilson to uh, and has daily flights to Eldoret, Lodwa, Mombasa, Diani, Malindi, and Lamo. Also, it flies to Kakamega, Kitale, Migori in Western Kenya. Now, it's just the other day that they had uh, announced that Akode, who was also a brand ambassador, uh, that she, uh, she lives in Rongo and works in Nairobi, courtesy of skyward express now this is a big win for comedian eric omondi and jackie matubia who are the sole brand ambassadors of skyward express in other news they might want come to me pesa so Imagine. that she doesn't um leak you a simple black male at me to me pesa and yes leak news ulituma be me without me you can't get money from me if i don't want
Today, Kenya's youngest sponsor, that is Kenyan Prince, has revealed shocking details about his life that fans did not uh, know about. First of all, he was able to shock netizens that he is actually a final year student, that is a fourth year student at the University of Nairobi. Uh, that is contrary to the narrative that has been taken rounds on social media, that he is actually a student of Mount Kenya University. Now, he was able to show the student's portal whereby he confirmed he is in his final semester at the University of Nairobi studying economics. The University of Nairobi portal, right? Mm -hmm. This is my registration number. You can see it has automatically opened. If you can check, mm -hmm. this is on Sabah Raymond Omosa, right? Yeah, this, yeah. This is only in the University of Nairobi. So, yeah, I'm doing my last year in the University of Nairobi. Now, yet again, Kenyan Prince shocked netizens after he revealed the scandal that went viral last year about his nudes leaking on social media. And he was able to clarify and say that he does not feel an inch of embarrassment at all. In fact, he says that he is okay and nothing actually bothers him in this life other than money. And uh, shocking the interviewer that is Eve Nyaga, Kenyan Prince was able to say that no woman can actually blackmail him for money as that was the aim of the lady that actually leaked uh, those photos online. Now he says that the, uh, the only way a woman can get money from him is if he wants uh, to send the money. Yeah, the only thing that can stress me is money. You understand the slogan from Chira Kama Wesi Pesu is in the past stress? Ah, me, you, you can't scare me of leaking out my nudes. You start telling me tomorrow, is either I send you money or you leak my nudes. Make me trend, bro. So, but I mean, my trend. So, who did my client come to me a pesa so that she doesn't um, leak you? A simple blackmail at me to me a person has leaked nudes. Ulituma? Be me. Yanini, me was, but that me, you can't get money from me if I don't want. Mm -mm. Why? Let me ask you a simple question. Why should you blackmail me for money? Money that won't change your life for, forever. You understand? And what did it cost me? Am I dead? See, I'm here. Did I lose my Audi? Am, am I not living a cool life? Are you, are you not embarrassed? Uh -huh. Why? Why should I be embarrassed? What, what am I being embarrassed though? These, these other people... Let me tell you something. These other people you're telling me to be embarrassed of, Malaya, come on, they're just prostitutes. So, no, no. In Nairobi right now, 90% of women are doing Roscoco for, 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 for a living. You understand? You all are Roscoco entrepreneurs for a living. If it's men, they have seen their dicks. If they have small ones, let them go and get some supplements and they grow their dicks. Otherwise, I don't give a fuck at you about, about at my nudes going out there. And me, I don't care. I don't care. Akuna kituna kushtua. Akuna. Oh, no, no, come to a wish to can I can't pan at all. I need to be my neighbor. If it's not killing me, I'm not afraid of it. Now, yet again, he was able to send a stern warning to Truth Watchdog, who say, uh, who he claims that he is old enough to be owning cars and living a lavish lifestyle, but he is, uh, you know, masquerading on social media as a content creator who actually talks about other people. No, Lizana, no, Truth Watchdog. Tell people what they want to hear. I don't speak about people without brains. Mm -hmm. Who's true to watch Duke? Number one, a motherfucker, 60 years old, who should be at least, at least, driving seven Range Rover sports at his compound. But instead of doing that, he's making noise on TikTok like Muiti. So why, why, why can I be driving such a car that you can count the number of them which are in Kenya and you want me to address a dog? It ain't making sense, bro. Who is true to watchdog? True to watchdog ni maremu mutarajiwa. The only thing we are remaining with is burying him. That is what is remaining. Actually, he'll mess with one of these people mm -hmm. and he'll be normal. Mm -hmm. And get my word. It's the second time I'm saying it live on camera. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting to bury him. Mm -hmm. We forget of problems because, you know, some of us have been through a lot. We don't want to see anything that is burying us from getting to our success. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if something stands on my way, I can, I can decide to count it nothing, mm. uh, or rather to count that loss, then get to my point of destination. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Kenyan Prince is actually satisfied with his life, you know, owning 
businesses owning cars and houses which he actually did not want to name because he says it's not relevant and people should just know that he lives well now he clarified that people laughed at him the uh just a few weeks ago where his his car that is his audi was seen being pushed in nairobi and he said that it took him 350,000 kenya shillings to actually repair the car as it's a german machine My car was being pushed there so i know you yes, say it's that nairobi mm -hmm. gossip mm -hmm. uh, the, the steering belt had an issue mm -hmm. so the car stopped these are german mm -hmm. it stops anytime it has an error mm -hmm. cost me like 300,000 uh -huh. yes to fix it yes to fix this car it has taken like 300,000 uh -huh. kenyan shillings uh -huh. it's very expensive to maintain mm -hmm. yes Okay. And he also states that uh, in that hula baloo of his car being pushed, he was able to lose an iPhone 15, guys. And he says that uh, it actually pained, but he was able to replace that with other two gadgets. Now, yet again, Kenyan Prince has talked about his relationship with Cindy Baby, who is a TikToker on social media, claiming that people should stop uh, lashing or rather the backlash because Cindy is actually better than most women out there that is according to kenyan prince How, however he did not uh, uh expound on his relationship with cindy baby and if it was commercial or merely you know friendship cindy not a woman she is pretty than most of you mm -hmm. she's thick and actually sweet so what was okay what is the issue cindy ni malaya mwenye amejikubali aka come out akasema mimi nauza miami Nyinyi ni wenye umejificha mnasema sisi ni homa ulijo ukiwapata usiku you wonder go to their dms utasikia unanipea ngapi you understand alikuuzia like these people are similar hiyo stack kuongelea sindi kama ilikuwa kuuza ama kunua manini but one thing i want to be clear about is sindi like another woman she's a lady and actually better than most of you guys who are pretending in other news <laughs> A video has gone viral of the Wajizes family, that is Kabi Wajizes and Amili Wajizes, as they were seen crying, breaking down at the thought of actually introducing their daughter to the toxic online space. Now, uh, Kabi and Amili Wajizes had their daughter, whom they have never introduced to social media, till they have actually, uh, you know, done a series of videos claiming that they were to drop a video whereby they are finally doing a face reveal and introducing uh, that is their daughter princess to social media now in this video kabi or jesus could be seen crying uh, tears and even failed to actually complete a prayer and in his explanation kabi or jesus claimed that he is just not ready to bring princess to the online space uh, talking about uh, the criticism that he and his wife mili or jesus have uh, faced now he says that uh, revealing Taji what Jesus was different that is their first child who is actually their son was different because at that time they did not know what hate was and uh, social media was just all about love for them as they were the what Jesus family now he claims that a lot of lies have been said on social media concerning them and that uh, all the hate that has been surrounding them is something that he does not want to be passed on to their kids now breaking down he explained this with a lot of emotions and a lot of pain could be seen written all over uh, his face fans have however reacted different to this video with some of them claiming that he has umama that he should not be crying uh because the child is theirs and it's automatically their decision whether they want to introduce him to social media or not now others have come uh have come about to talk about uh him crying saying that it's not appropriate because at the end of the day they are content creators and they can never hide that is their princess for life now some actually said that it's just a few weeks ago whereby they served edgar obare a lawsuit because he had apparently revealed the face of their daughter on his platform bnn now that lawsuit however we do not know how it turned out because eventually nothing was uh was talked about nothing was confirmed and we did not see edgar obare uh you know uh facing uh, the lawsuit now 
in other terms kabi wa jesus has however confirmed that a video is dropping today on the youtube platform whereby the decision to reveal princess on social media has uh, has finally been agreed upon and even despite the tears and the whole crying and his you know fear of introducing her to the online you know the online toxic space he is still going ahead to do it now what do you think about this particular video about kabi wajiz is crying and talking about how the the hate uh he fears the hate being uh, spread and passed on to their kids the guy loves the camera a lot and princess as well so to not feel if you continue just having taji online it will be unfair for princess and we believe even the fears we have like by the time we, we've gotten the confidence we've gotten the courage to actually bring her online is because of what god has done and we are so happy princess oh my god princess oh my god so to not fanya 1 2 3 come at taji oh my god baby guys ready <laughs> Yes, she has a homa. Ako na homa. Oh my god, she's such a cutie yes. pie. Are you ready to meet people online? Mama? Yes. Are you ready to meet people? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> look at her. Una na banya na hug mama. In other news, following the arrest of DJ John Falme uh, in relation to the death of one DCI officer by the name Felix Kitosi after an assault incident that happened on the 16th of March uh, that led to Felix Kitosi being attended at the Nairobi West Hospital and later succumbing to the injuries, fellow DJ DJ Croba has come forward to actually claim that DJ John Falme is innocent. Now taking to social media DJ Croba recorded a, a video of himself putting on a t-shirt that was written DJ John Falme is innocent. He later went ahead to caption on his uh Instagram post whereby he said the same John Falme is innocent. Now fans of course went uh, went ahead to uh, you know have different opinions to this particular claim with some asking if he is uh, the judge. Now one by the name George Gush went ahead to comment and asked are you the judge what if it's you or your brother was beaten to death then dj croba was able to uh, clarify saying that it is uh, it is his opinion because uh, joe and him have been brothers since 2006 now this is what croba replied and i quote I feel for the family sad times for them on the flip side I uh, I have known Joe since 2006 and it's the internet my brother we all have opinions this is mine Now DJ Croba is not the only person that came forward to say that Joe is innocent as Amina Abdirabba also came to defend DJ Joe claiming that he is not guilty of those allegations of assaulting the DCI officer Now taking to social media uh, Amina Abdirabba also captioned his own op- uh, her own opinion and this is what she said John Falme is innocent. I said what I said. He is the kindest, most hard-working person I know. He can't harm anyone no matter how they try to flip it in the media. People who know you know you, uh know you could never do this. God will get you through. This too shall pass, my brother. I know you are not the one who did it. Uh let's prove your innocence. And uh, uh Amin Abdirabba is one of the people that actually showed up in court and other station for DJ John Falme. since they have worked together closely and Amina feels that DJ John Falme is innocent well she also went to her TikTok platform whereby she shared a video of herself working with DJ uh, John Falme and she also said that she has known him her entire career and uh, reading what she quoted on TikTok this is what Amina said I've known Joe my entire career. He is an absolute profession who takes his work very seriously. A true gentleman, a religious and kind man who takes care of so many people. I hope blogs will have the same energy to post his story when he is acquitted of all charges. Praying for my brother. He could never do some uh, something like this. 
ever now guys we all know dj john falme was arrested and taken to uh kabete police station where he was later taken to reruta police station uh in relation uh to this whereby it said on that fateful morning where he was performing uh, uh in kikuyu now after the performance in the wee hours of the morning at five there was a little incident that happened that led to his bouncer his driver and his hype man actually beating up this said police officer where he later went to uh to report the same incident in the nearest police station and it said that this dca officer was also arraigned at the police station where the other uh police officers that were on shift that early morning also beat up this dci officer then later he succumbed when receiving treatment in the nairobi west hospital uh we are waiting for more details about what happens on this course uh on this uh you know case because he has been denied bail and he is still uh you know uh at the police station and that he is not allowed to perform this easter weekend that means that he has lost all the gigs that he had reserved to perform this easter weekend so i've seen the john falme story uh i'm yet to get the clear details of what happened but off the cuff john falme no no mm -mm. nope 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 that part i don't agree with uh because i've known joe for a very long time since when i was still doing music when i was upcoming to working with joe and everything he's not only very disciplined and self-driven and organized he's very kind joe is very kind like he's i think he's the only meru guy i know who's not violent joe is very kind like i saw the headline i'm just like wow really maybe it might be someone in the security I don't know, but Joe? No, 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 no. John Falme, no. I do not believe it. So Joe, stay strong. We are here to support as much as we can. Everything happens for a reason. But, bro, I know you can't. Well, that's all for today's highlights. Of course, join me tomorrow, same time, same place for more highlights. Also, don't forget to visit our website at www.kom.co.ke even for more entertainment news. Ladies and gentlemen, my good name is Sky Kakwe and this is Kenya Online Media. Hey, Yombachi, let's go!